Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you my beloved students? I hope you are healthy and ready to study. Today we learn about time. Answer my questions. What time do you get up today? Who can answer it? I get up at half past four. What time do you go to school every day? I go to school at six o'clock. Okay students, let's watch the video. It's time to get up Jika. Okay mom, what time is it? It is half past four. It is half past five. It's time to take a bath. Dika, it is 10 to 6. You have breakfast before going to school. Yes, I am. It is a quarter past 6. I go to school. Goodbye, Mom. Be careful, Dika. Goodbye. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon, Dika. You go home from school at 10 to 2 p.m. It is a quarter past two. I need to take a nap for a moment. What are you doing, Dika? It is a 20 to 4 p.m. I am listening to music. Okay, Mom. I will stop listening to music and go to English course. It is half past 6 p.m. I have dinner. Thank you, Mom. It is okay, son. It is 10 to 7 p.m. I study maths and science. It is half past 9 p.m. I go to bed. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dika. Okay, students. After watching the video, we know how to say the time. You can make a table of Dika's activity in your notebook. Now we talk about the difference between the using of M and PM. For 12 at night until 11.59 using M. For 12 at noon until 23.59 using PM. For 12.00, which is within a time limit, M and PM are not used. It is feared that the use of M and PM will cause confusion, because the last hour in the time zone is written 12.00 or 00.00. .00. Kill me. Do you understand how to tell time? Yes, Mom. Now, I understand how to tell time. Now, you know well the difference between M and PM. I think enough for today. Your task is making a table consist of your activity and tell about it. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share.